What is going on guys, it's Joe, and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today is a rest day, it's a day off from the weight, so I'm gonna take you through my full day of eating, what I do on a rest day, arguably even more important of what you do when you're working out. Gives your body time to recover, relax, and that way you can go back into the gym and hit it even harder the next time. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> First here for meal number one, we got six slices of French toast, keep it a classy San Diego, with around 80 grams of blueberries, Up off of the Walnut Farms pancake syrup. You guys already know this is a staple of my breakfast. If you don't and you're new, considering hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, you won't be disappointed. This never gets old. It never gets old. The thing about me and French toast is that I can only have this once a day. Usually it's my first or my second meal. After that, I don't eat French toast anymore. I eat this more than once a day, I think I would get sick of it. But a stack of French toast a day keeps the body fat away. I'm gonna go ahead and superset in some coffee as well. Total calories for all six slices here in the blueberries, 711 calories. Macros for this meal is 62 grams of protein, 97 grams of carbs, eight grams of fiber, and five grams of fat. High protein, high carb, low fat. I'm going to eat this and I will see you guys as the day continues. Alrighty, and we are back here with Mele number two, continuing to practice my Spanish. We got here a protein pizza loaded with some spinach, getting those micronutrients in, getting those veggies in, also with a full bag of Smart Pop popcorn. Total calories for this entire meal is 610 calories. We are super setting that, of course, with some Coke Zeros as well. Quite the array of food here. By far is one of my favorite meals to eat on prep. It's probably the thing I eat most consistently besides the French toast. Total calories for this entire thing is 610 calories. Total macros for the entire day is 109 grams of protein, 173 grams of carbs, 22 grams of fiber, and 26 grams of fat. Go ahead and give this pizza a taste test. Now one thing I do with the pizza, right, is because the lavish bread is so big, I basically just roll it up into a nice little pizza burrito right here and just, yes! Pizza never gets old, it's that good. Low calorie, high protein. Continuing this prep series, of course, by not eating one chicken, rice, and broccoli meal. No way, Jose, that is some Spanish for you right there. I'm gonna munch on this and I'll see you guys as the day rolls on. Alrighty, and we are back here with a little bit of a snacky poo. Right here in this bowl, I have four oatmeal protein cookies. Oatmeal blueberry protein cookies, um, straight out of the anabolic cookbook from the anabolic doc himself right here. Total macros for all four of these cookies is 361 calories with 51 grams of protein. This entire batch that I made made nine total cookies, so basically you take all of the ingredients, add them all up together, and divide it all by nine, so you get each calorie per cookie. Total macros for the entire day is 160 grams of protein, 207 grams of carbs, 26 grams of fiber, and 29 grams of fat. But enough talking, let's give this protein cookie a little bit of a taste test. Mm. Mm. Protein cookie, I'd say this is actually pretty damn good. Most protein cookies, especially being homemade, are drier than Death Valley. This right here is moist, absolutely delicious, high in protein, low calorie. I mean, not much more you can ask for right there. I have eaten from Greg's Cookbook Part 1 and 2, and I was thinking about making a little bit of a third episode, eating an entire day from Greg's Cookbook while being on prep. So let me know if you want to see that by smashing that like button down below. I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of the cookies and continue on with the entire day. Alrighty, and welcome back to another meal. Something a little bit different that I haven't necessarily eaten yet 
on this prep, but right here we have a big salad, 130 grams of baby spinach. We have some mushroom, we have some tomatoes, we have some fat-free cheese, we have some chicken in there as well. We also got here a little cup of guacamole, 80 calories for the thing. On the side to have a little bit of our dipping station, we took some Mission in carb balanced tortillas, two of them, cut them up into little chip-like shapes. We're gonna use a dip for our guacamole. Accompanying for this meal, we're gonna wash it down with two Coke Zeros. Now, for this salad, salads can get a bit boring, especially without the dressing, especially without the ranch. So, what I usually do for something that's super low calorie, we have some sugar-free sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. This, this thing is a staple for my salads, makes it taste a heck of a lot better. We put in there some classic yellow mustard because zero calories or so low to zero they round down. And then hear me out on this one. This one is a bit interesting and I like I didn't like the sound of it at first, but then I tried it the other day and I have to say it is quite delicious. And that is some sugar-free syrup. You mix all that together in this bowl with the salad and it tastes pretty darn good if I do say so myself. And I'm not really a big salad eater, but getting in good micros, a lot of volume, very low calorie is what we're going here. Very high protein as well. So this right here is a lot of food, probably the biggest meal of my entire day, but it's also the lowest calorie meal of my entire day. And that is what's key. Okay, we have in this entire meal 452 calories. Total macros after this meal for the entire day is 196 grams of protein, 281 grams of carbs, 65 fiber. The reason why it's so high now is because of these tortillas right here. These things are loaded in fiber, makes you feel more full, eat a lot of fiber. 41 grams of fat, bringing our total caloric intake to 2,134 calories. So after this meal, I'm gonna be pretty full. If I want to eat again, I will. If not, I may cut my calories short at 2134, get a little bit of a bigger deficit for the day. I didn't work out, so that's okay. Now, you don't need to adjust your calories based on if you're working out or not working out. If you're in a deficit every day, no matter what, that's all that matters. But if I'm just really full, I'm not going to force myself to eat another meal before bed. But if I'm hungry, I will eat another meal before bed because I'm giving myself 2,400 calories and I have to be in a deficit every single day to eat while on this prep. So let's go ahead and give this salad a little bit of a taste test. This salad is actually very, very good. A lot better, um, let me tell you, a lot better than chicken and rice because we have a lot of different flavors going on right here. So let's get a little bit of everything. Cheese, chicken, spinach, tomato, mushroom, the sauce. I'm telling you, that sugar-free syrup is delicious. Send a super set in some guacamole as well. Take our little chip we got going on here. Some guac. Crunchy, creamy, delicious. Sit here, eat this meal, and I'll see you guys for our final meal of the day. Alrighty, guys, and we are here with our last meal of the entire day. Literally gonna eat this in my bed right now. But what we got going on is just a simple quesadilla with another packet of that guacamole, bringing our total caloric intake to 2,354 calories. We're looking at 210 grams of protein, 306 grams of carbs, 83 grams of fiber. This freaking tortilla packs a fibrous punch, my friends and then 54 grams of fat. Eat this, then I'm gonna go brush my teeth, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Brush your teeth before you go to bed. If you don't, that's disgusting. Disgusting! It is literally one in the morning right now. I have to be up at 4.30 to get ready for the entire day tomorrow. So one thing that I think I am really doing wrong on this prep right now is just not getting enough sleep. Sleep is huge for recovery. A rest day is meant to recover. At the point I'm trying to recover if I'm not even getting the most important aspect of recovery, and that is sleep. But yeah, if you can get sleep, get some sleep. But let's give this quesadilla a taste test. Pretty simple. Mission in tortilla, reduced fat cheese, but other than that, I'm going to finish eating this. I'm wrapping the video up here. Thank you for watching another episode. This is what episode four of this series. If you've been here since episode one, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. It really helps the channel grow. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Be a part of the first thousand to this channel. And in it here, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. It's been your boy, Joe. Peace.